Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> The Quran Lee app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. So, can zero, if you think about it mathematically, can zero ever equal one? Uh, well, it depends how how many times you kind of put zero into a zero. Well, that's that's nothing. The point is, like zero times one is zero. But mathematically, but depending how many times you put a zero into a zero, you can make a whole kind of dimension, can't you? Right, right. It's, it's so, so just to simplify, maybe for somebody watching, you're saying if we add nothing to nothing, uh, maybe thousands of times, you're saying eventually it could give rise to something. Scientifically, yes. But, scientific, but sci scientifically, that's against science because. Science deals with the real world. No, no, no. If, she, if she's saying scientifically, then maybe yeah, we well, should I educate mean, ourselves to one, that as well. A, a, a zero, a one, a one, a one, and a zero is basically the formula for the entire world. Yes, but so one's, one's you, a something. If you add a zero onto a zero onto a zero onto zero, what the fuck? You, you could make, excuse my language, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, you, you could make something inevitable. You don't know. But, but the, is zero. there any example in science where something comes from nothing? So, um, well, like I was saying, the code of life is a zero, a one, a one, a one, and a zero. So if you add the zero to the zero and then plus the one, you could create, I don't know, artificial intelligence. But this code of life needs a coder, isn't it? It is, Or did it just code itself? Well, I mean, the code is the code. Um, you kind of you can still attach it to astronomy. You can attach it to um, you can you, you can think we're all in an artificial simulation at the moment. But would you say a code needs a coder? Not necessarily, no. Because look at artificial intelligence. That's what I'm saying. And I know that's that can, needs a coder. You you can uh, you can absolutely argue that's man-made kind of uh, a thing. But at the same time, if it was man-made. It was always there. It was always there for us to make. So. But hasn't artificial intelligence needed somebody to code it initially? for it to then grow. I see where you're going, but I do not believe that that is the fact for humankind. Well, That's not? that? I, I see where you're going, but yeah. I do not believe that that is the fact for humankind. Well, no problem, but you started the code thing, isn't it? So I'm saying, yeah. because the initially we believe, well, let's just say for argument's sake, you're saying that us, okay, the yeah, universe, no. yeah, came right. from if, nothing. If, if, I'm saying we must have practical examples because science a has a false, falsification right. method, right. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you, there's a falsification yeah. method, there's a hypothesis. So fine. Let, let's just say theoretically that we created the code for the human beings, but at the same that's, time. That's that's the thing that's up for debate, isn't it? Yeah. Is there anything else that you could that you could say also comes from nothing to verify that? Because science, you don't just take right. one experiment and then create a theory. You need to obviously it's repeatable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What we learn from our mistakes, don't we? And we make it better. That's what we build from. So somebody stumbles upon something or they create something and then we build upon that, right? So, yeah. <laughs> that didn't answer what I asked. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat the question? No problem, no. No, <laughs> no, no, no problem, no problem. So, what I'm trying to say is, at the beginning, yeah, yeah. you said it came from nothing and that's science. Right. I'm saying if it's science, it should follow the scientific method and the, the scientific method is falsification and I'm sure there could yeah. be multiple examples of things coming from nothing. So can you give me one other example yeah. that where something comes from nothing? Um, I, I can't right now, no. Um, and I see what you're saying, but I don't agree that somebody just created this and then was like, okay, that's, that's absolutely fine. Ago. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, you don't have to. But what I'm saying is, when you're saying something coming from nothing is science, yeah. and it doesn't follow the scientific method, there's no other example of it, then we need to analyze that claim of us saying that it's science. Do you see? That's, that's what I was saying. Well, I don't, I don't know if we do, because there's an awful lot of research out there and there's an awful lot of like study to show us that... Yeah, nobody's, nobody's got a single example where something comes from nothing. Oh no, sorry, yeah, in this particular moment, yeah, sorry for my words and yeah, you don't have to hold on to that particular thing of yeah. something coming from nothing. But from science, there's a whole lot of research there. There's a whole lot of evidence there to show us that evolution is actually a thing that 
Evolution, particles yeah. came from evolution things. comes after the Big Bang, isn't it? After you found the first self-replicating DNA, yeah, that the first organism with with consciousness, as it were, that lives and breathes, sort of thing, yeah. But before then, you've just got matter. Like the first thing from the Big Bang, we know is helium and hydrogen, isn't it? So we're just dealing with elements. That's what we're dealing with. So evolution comes later on, but initially we're talking with the initial. Are literally part of that evolution, so how is it not? Well, where did yeah. those elements come from? But, but those elements, space. so those elements, but you see, you, you're making that your god because, like, in the, you know, when I said that, I have no god, no, no, there's but, no but, god whatsoever. But you know, it's a simile, simile. he's saying so it in a simile. simile. You know, what you're doing, Emily, right. when you're saying it's space, you're saying random particles, but that's not what I said. I just gave you an answer for that particular yeah. question. I'm yeah. not saying that space is my old god or anything like that. Yeah. I'm just saying, but you, giving you a particular yeah. question yeah. for that answer yeah. is the fact that where you asked me where matter yeah. came from, and I so told if you, space. From space, then do you not believe space gave rise to the whole thing like the Big Bang? The space caused it. Do I think that space, space caused, caused the, the Big, Big Bang? Bang? I think the two planets colliding together caused the Big Bang. But there's two two things colliding. We're talking about you said from these nothing. are planets, isn't it? Yeah, the planets. Yeah, they're, that's they're exactly things. What nothing. That's the Big Bang theory uh, of the planets. Bang like that. They believe in the primary primary nebulae, yeah. and then uh, energy being created yeah. from atoms. But again, our point is the primary nebulae and. I'm completely lost. About no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs>